everybody. Everybody, I'm back. Everybody, Jeannie Young is back, and I'm back with yet another amazing recipe. I am so excited, yet another day, because today at the Young's house, Gina Young is going to share with you all how easy it is to make a chicken dressing. This dressing right here is pretty much bomb. It's so easy to make. It doesn't require a lot of ingredients, and you know, make a Gina Young style, it's going to be so tasty. Y'all never had my dressing before. Better make you some. Here are the lovely ingredients you will need. The first thing that you will need is some nice fresh chicken thighs. Now, it's up to you to really decide what type of meat you wanna use from the chicken, but honestly, I like to use the chicken thighs. It's gonna give you the most flavor, and it's gonna stay nice and moist. So we have some beautiful chicken thighs here. It's around about seven or eight pieces that I have boiled, and I'll talk about that a little bit later. Give me one second, and I'll be right back. Okay, everyone, sorry about that. So now we'll talk about what I did with the chicken thighs here in just a minute. So you're gonna need some chicken. You will need some beautiful veggies. So I have some celery here. You cannot make dressing without celery. You're gonna need some bell peppers, and I like to use the green. Sometimes I'll use the red. We're gonna use red today to make it nice and festive. We're gonna need three large eggs, and over here I have pre-chopped up some fresh sweet onion, and you will need some chicken broth. You're gonna need two of these, and I believe they're 48 ounce, 48 ounces. Now, if we make our way over this way, I have some wheat bread that has been baked, but I've had it out on my counter for two days not covered because you want it to get nice and stale. Okay, and we'll talk about that. And then I have two loaves of Italian bread. You can, oh, I'm sorry, this is French bread. You can use Italian bread, any kind of bread you would like to use. You could even use something like this. You could use a pre-cut um, bread croutons if you wanted to. We will not be using this in this video. This is what we're gonna use. Okay, now you will need a couple of spices so we can spice everything up. Here's what you'll need this way. You will need some black pepper, some garlic powder, onion powder, salt, and then we have some chicken powder. And then right here, I've pulled up some fresh sage from my garlic, from my garden. Make sure your hands are impeccably clean. Let's get started with this really quick and simple, yet so tasty recipe. Okay, everyone, so what I wanna show you in this pan is liquid gold. This beautiful broth that we have here was created from boiling our chicken thighs. Now, let me tell you all what I put into the broth to make it so delicious, because if you're gonna make a dressing that is gonna be show-stopping, you wanna make sure that your broth is absolutely amazing. So here's what we did. We put our boneless, skinless chicken thighs into two of the 48 ounce uh, chicken broths. We put some garlic powder, some onion powder, we put some celery and onions, a little bit of fresh thyme, we put some black pepper in there, and a little bit of chicken powder. And we let those thighs cook down until they're fully cooked. So the thighs have cooled down and we're left with this beautiful broth. Now, what you do, my mouth is salivating. What you do is you taste the broth and see if you're happy with the flavor. And if you're not, go in with some more seasoning. Now, when I come back, we're gonna get started cutting up our veggies and our meat just like so. The holidays are right around the corner. You all are looking for that perfect dish to put on your family's dinner table. This right here, you can't have a Thanksgiving without dressing, right? Some people call it stuffing, some people call it dressing. What do you call it? I, I think, I guess I kind of grew up calling it both because sometimes um, we would stuff the turkey and then we would call it stuffing, but you know, if we put it into a casserole dish and baked it, we would call it dressing. So, you know, I guess it's kind of, you know, all depends on how you're making it. So my chicken thighs, we tasted these babies and it is so flavorful. Now, you could definitely use a chicken breast if you wanted to, but honestly, I feel like using the chicken breast, the chicken does get dry. You know, honestly, it just does. So therefore, that's why I like to use the chicken thigh. 
Now, during Thanksgiving, when it's Thanksgiving time and I'm baking a turkey, I might already have my turkey already made, you know, and have some of that beautiful broth that was in the bottom of my pan. Uh, sometimes I'll use a little bit of that broth, and sometimes I'll even incorporate some of the t uh, turkey neck meat, you know, which is amazing. And if you have a little bit of the turkey tail, you can pull some of that meat off and throw it in with your dressing as well. So now let me show you the size of our meat pieces. You can shred it apart if you wanted to, but this is how I like to cut mines up. I am so excited. I'm really starting to feel the holidays. It's really beginning to feel like the holidays around here. And when I'm making my dressing, I really don't skimp on the meat. You know, like go all out. It's the holiday, load this baby with meat. Okay, so now that we have our chicken cut up, just like so, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna set this aside and then I wanna start to chop down our beautiful veggies when I come back. So now that I've cut up my sweet onion, I'm gonna go ahead and put it into the saute pan with just a little bit of butter. And I like to saute up my veggies sometimes with a little bit of oil and butter, but we're just gonna use some sweet cream butter right now. It's gonna give the veggies a great flavor. Make sure to wash off all of your veggies, okay? Because you wanna wash off the pesticides, and then again, you never know who's handled your veggies before you brought them home. And when I make a dressing, you have to have veggies. The veggies is gonna be what gives it so much flavor, and also, like I said, that broth. Okay, so now I'm gonna use just about this much here. Let's go ahead and get it into the pan as well with the butter. All right, and then we're gonna chop up some bell pepper. I hardly ever use red bell pepper. I just wanna use the red bell pepper today because I think it's gonna make it look nice and festive. You know, make it kind of feel like the holiday. I'm not gonna to use too much because the red bell pepper does have a really distinct flavor and that's not what I'm really looking for but I do want its color so let's just use a little bit just like so and this is all I'm going to use just this little bit right here okay a little tiny bit more I hope that you all are having an amazing day today let me know in the comment section below how you like to make your dressing or how your family makes their dressing I know like years ago I used to make a homemade dressing and then I would mix in some stovetop stuffing and it was delicious but I found another way and on my channel you will see that I have so many different types of recipes for how to make dressing and they're all delicious so feel free to try all of them and see which one you might like okay so now we're cutting that green bell pepper this is gonna give amazing flavor here all right let me know in the comment section below if you like to put eggs into your dressing as well. I know that there's so many people that either they do or they don't, but I find that some people don't. I like to put eggs in mine is because I feel like it holds your dressing together. I feel like dressing should not be a loose situation. I feel like it should be kind of compact a little bit if you all can understand what I'm saying. Okay, so now that I have my bell peppers nice and chopped up, we're gonna add this to the celery and the onions and our red bell pepper and our butter, and let's get this sauteed up until everything becomes nice and soft, which will really take about just 10 minutes or so. And I'm gonna season up our veggies with just a little bit of salt and pepper. So now even though we have dried our bread out it's still I want you to see that it's still not as dry as we would prefer it to be because listen here dressing turns out perfect when the bread is really really old and stale and dry so what do you do here's what we're gonna do we're gonna cut it into croutons or cut it cut it into squares then we're gonna throw it in the oven to get it nice and dried out as it should be now in so many people i'm gonna answer so many of your questions right now so many people like to say how do i know gina how much liquid to put into my dressing well listen here you can't go wrong if you put a whole lot of liquid in your dressing because guess what? 
it's gonna it's gonna dry up okay now if you put a little bit of liquid into your dressing there's where you would go wrong because it would be dry and people would be like yuck it's disgusting put a lot of liquid into your dressing and I promise you it's gonna be amazing and then you all can do like a little fork test you know after about an hour and ten minutes and taste a little piece and see if you're happy with that so so that's what I like to do I start off with a lot of liquid I know I always tell you guys when it comes to different seasonings and things start off with a little bit and then you can always add to but not in this case this is a bread and it'll soak up liquid very fast so start off with a lot of it. You can't go wrong because the oven will eventually dry it up as it should be, okay? So now that we um, have our bread sliced this way, you can see that I'm making sort of, you know, cubes, okay? And they don't have to be perfect. You could even do a situation like this if you wanted to, okay? They, you can't go wrong when you're making dressing. Okay, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut into these until we have everything cubed up. No specific size, like I said, you wanna tear it, that's just fine. When I come back, we'll get started on the, uh, um, on the French bread, just like so. So if you take a look over here at our beautiful veggies, and listen here, if you wanted to add some fresh garlic to this, you could, okay? But normally, I usually don't. Sometimes I will, but you don't have to. So this has been about 10 minutes. Let's go ahead and turn it off. And I did salt and pepper those beautiful veggies. Now over here with our bread pieces, we have them on a cookie sheet. I have my oven preheated to 355 degrees. What we're gonna do is we're gonna throw this in the oven until it gets nice and dry. And what I mean by dry, it might get a little toasty, which is okay, but you want it to really dry out. And once that happens, I'll be back to show you all what you need to do next. So now dressing just is not dressing if you do not have a sage. Well, at least it's not holiday dressing if you don't use sage. You can use a powdered sage or you can use some fresh. I just happen to have this in the backyard, so we're gonna use three of them. And listen here, we're going to use three and what I like to do is kind of roll it up and do a little chiffonade. That's what it's called when you do this. Kind of, um, it's, it's like little ribbons, okay? just like so don't use any more if you're using fresh don't use too much too much of it can definitely destroy so now you're left with that beautiful chiffonade of sage just three large pieces so now right here we have everything in a little uh, you know we have our chicken we got our onions our bell peppers and our celery and our sage now the um the bread is getting nice and dry once that happens we'll mix everything together not to mention we're going to add our um, three large eggs and the eggs is going to help to bind it this is going to go in the oven i'm going to say an amazing prayer you all are going to get that first bite so now our bread has came off the oven and it's nice and crispy. You all might be able to hear that. Hear that noise? It's crispy and it's nice and dried out. You want to season the bread. This is salt. That's a lot of bread, so you're going to need a nice amount of seasoning, guys, okay? There's black pepper. We want this to have so much flavor. Like, you don't need to put... Uh, gravy on this dressing that we make it is like it, it's moist by itself it's moist without gravy it's delicious a little bit of chicken powder once again beautiful flavor we just put in all right we're gonna put some onion powder in just like so in this manner and then I'm gonna move it all around okay get all them seasonings kind of you know mixed in then what we're gonna do is we're going to incorporate our cooked chicken or your cooked turkey next or you know whatever turkey parts you might want to put in there and our veggies and our three chiffonade um, uh, 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 what am I thinking guys you all know what I'm talking about <laughs> my say I couldn't get it out so now what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna go in with my hands and I want to really mix all of this just like so and I'll be right back oh it smells so good we're gonna put our eggs in just like so in this manner and then the next thing we're gonna do is we have this amazing broth 
that we've made, pour that broth on. Now, you may have seen me in the past, and I, I, I still do it from time to time, but not for this recipe. And what I'm gonna speak about is putting the cream of chicken into my dressing. You don't have to do it, and I've realized that. I've realized a couple of things. I've realized that it's delicious with it, but guess what, it's delicious without it. And honestly, if you all were to ask me, so which one do you prefer? Do you prefer to use the cream of chicken or the cream of mushroom? I honestly prefer to do it this way without it. Listen guys, this right here is so good, and you can see just how soggy the bread is beginning, uh, beginning to get. So now I feel like I need a little bit more broth. So like I said, don't be afraid to get this nice and wet. Okay, my oven is preheated to 355 degrees. This is going to go into the oven. And what I'll do is when this comes out, I'll let you know exactly how long this took to cook when I come back. This right here is what your dressing should look like. Beautiful. Now I do want to talk about something really quickly. You're going to need to cover this up uh, for most of the time that it's cooking. At least I, I like to. Some people don't, but I like to cover mine. So go ahead and cover it. And then the last 10 minutes of the cooking process, we'll take the foil off and get it nice and brown on the top. And also we'll add a couple of tads of butter on the top. Look at this, everybody. The last 15 minutes of the cooking process, I've taken the foil off, and you see that I've put tads of butter all over the top. We're going to close this oven. When I come back, I'm going to say an amazing prayer. You all are going to get that first bite. This will not come out of the oven until it's nice, beautiful, and golden brown on top. Take a look at it, everybody. Gina Young style, homemade dressing. Make you some. Oh, yes, look at this. Listen here, everybody. If you all enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Tell your family and friends and everyone you know. Tell the whole world about Jeannie Young, what I'm doing in this kitchen on a daily basis. We're going to say a really quick prayer because my battery is dying. Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, we want to thank you once again for a beautiful day, for blessing over this meal. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Now, I'm not going to cut down into this, but I want to show you this amazing beautifulness. Look at the sides. This is going to someone's house, so I am not going to, like I said, you know, take a scoop for myself. Look how gorgeous. <laughs> Ooh, listen here. Tell your family and friends, make this for your holiday. You will not be let down, but what I am going to do, I have to take a little bite, just a little bite, just a little bite, and right away, I got to Oh, I got the chicken. <laughs> I know it's hot. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. 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 Mmm.